Tufail ibn Amr was a distinguished man. He was the chief of the well-known Dos clan, an intellectual of sorts with a mind of his own. In poetry and literature, his knowledge was known. So one day, Tufail decided to go to the city of Mecca, but little did he know that the Meccans had believed that a problem had come from a man who stated that God is one. So as he entered Mecca, they honored him well. They welcomed him in and then started to tell about a man named Muhammad who was causing much harm, splitting father from son, so don't fall for his charm. And they went on and on with their slanderous views, propaganda, their way of spinning the news, till Atufel got so scared and afraid although he never even heard one word that the prophet said. Tufel was so afraid of what he might hear that he took some cotton and put it in his ears so that he would not be bewitched by the words of the Quran and he could walk wherever he pleased without any harm. But then he saw the prophet near the Kaaba praying. He started watching him cautiously surveying out of curiosity, he decided to walk near to the prophet and somehow he managed to hear beautiful words, amazing words as he listened in stealth. So finally, at Tufel, he said to himself, you know, you're an intelligent man, distinguishing right from wrong, you know that you can. So he followed the prophet until he reached his home and he said, you know, they told me to leave you alone but present to me your mission and your cause. So the Prophet recited to him Surah Falaq and Surah Ikhlas. Such beautiful words, Tufail was in awe. So he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah Then he stayed for some time, the deen he learned. Then back to his people of Daus he returned. He was so excited to teach his clan about this beautiful faith this deen of Islam, but they all refused to believe, except for Abu Huraira, who fails dad and his wife, you see. So he returns to Mecca, upset and confused. Oh Prophet, this beautiful deen they refused. In alcohol and fornication, they are so consumed. So curse them, O oh Prophet, pray for their doom. The Prophet looks to the sky and raises his hands. The companions were all scared for the Dous clan because when the Prophet would pray for a situation, it would always come true no matter the occasion. But they were all amazed at the dua that he said because he prayed for their guidance instead and said, Tufail, go back to your tribe and be gentle with them and always be kind. Years later, he comes back on the scene with hundreds of people who had accepted the deen. Like 80 families from the Daus clan had all come and accepted Islam. The moral is that intelligence you must use. And don't believe everything that you see on the news. And always treat people with kindness and grace because Islam is a journey and everybody goes at their own pace. Coming back.